Hello, Yeshua Network. Nathan Wheeler here, founder of The Page. Blessed to be here with you on this day. It is currently Wednesday, which means it is our prayer and fasting day. Yes, I am fasting and praying over every single name that was left on our graphic. We're doing this every Wednesday now. I have fallen in love with it. I'm so grateful for everybody who posts. But anyways, I'm going to try to make this video <laughs> as quick and short as possible. But a lot has been going on. I have been uh, a bit MIA the last two weeks. And I wanted to make uh, an update video, just sharing with new people what is Yeshua Network, who are we, what do we do here, why is this page created, why is it to have so many followers and so many people talking about it and so forth, uh, what opportunities does this page provide both in ministry and fellowship, and also uh, what's the future look like for this ministry, and who am I? And, uh, you know, why, why do I do and say some of the things I do and say on this ministry is going to be the end of this video. Don't worry. I won't, I won't put that on in the beginning. Uh, that way you guys can log off if you're not interested in that. So to start off, I actually have notes, which is something I never do, but I wanted to make sure I covered everything today. Uh, so uh, again, try to go through this real quick. Who and what is Yeshua Network? Yeshua Network is not, let's start with what is not. It'll, it'll shrink things down a bit. Uh, this is not a Facebook page or a social media page for a building church. It's, there's, there's no building church with us. Um, we don't have a location that anybody and everybody can come to and hang out with us and fellowship in real life. Uh, this is an online ministry started in 2013 by myself. Uh, but because the Lord told me to do it, which I'll get to in a little bit. Uh, but that was 2013 is when this ministry and Truth Me Free Ministries which is more YouTube-based ministry. You can go there, Truth Me Free. Check that out. It's my testimonial, um, all of which was I was told by God to do. So here I am doing this. This was not my dream or ambition, <laughs> but I'm grateful. I'm more grateful than I could ever voice that the Lord would allow me to have a ministry like this and to be part of serving him in a, in, in a way like this. It's unbelievable to me. Um, so we are not a, a physical church. This is not a page that is just representing or advertising a physical church. And we are not associated or are not a denomination in of ourselves. Uh, that's not how, you know, how we really operate here. Really what this place is, is just an online fellowship. Uh, and we have two major categories of focus of what our ministry is about. The number one thing you need to know about Yeshua Network and myself is that our number one focus is to hopefully inspire, encourage, hold hands and walk with people as they read the Bible for themselves in its entirety, first word to last, in order, so that they can just have that experience, so that they can have themselves be studied to find themselves approved kind of thing as the Bible says, study to find yourself approved. Uh, we want to actually help believers do that. We know that reading the Bible can be very daunting, overwhelming, um, sometimes super boring, um, and just and, and frustrating because we feel lost and confused by all the uh, outside, you know, noises coming at us, and then the information we're getting from the Scripture itself can be it can be very contradicting. And so it causes a psychological and emotional trauma to actually happen when a believer really seeks to read the Bible. Now, that may not happen for you. We're just saying that it does happen for some people. And so that is our number one focus is just to provide an atmosphere, an environment, and tools to help believers navigate their own relationship with God. Does that make sense? So we're not telling people how to get to God except for that it's in the Bible. Uh, that's the only direction we give. If you want to know how to get to God, you want to know how to have a relationship with God, it's in the Bible. So if we're ever pointing in a direction or giving any kind of, uh, uh, of like direct coaching, it's pointing towards the Bible and pointing towards Yeshua. Does that make sense? That's the level of our, of our pointing and guiding. Um, we come up alongside brothers and sisters and we fellowship so that everybody can grow in Christ in the way that Christ has, uh, you know, chosen for them to grow because we don't know who he is. We don't believe in who he is because we're smart or we are raised in him. That's actually not a reason to believe in Christ. The only reason why you believe 
who Yeshua is, who our Christ, our Savior, Messiah is, is because the Holy Spirit reveals it to you. That's what the scripture tells us, and I am persuaded of that 100%. And so we want to help everybody basically find their way into Christ with the path that he has laid before them. And that's, that's our first and foremost goal. So that leads into, though, our second goal on this ministry, which is to provide an environment specifically that allows people to do all the things that Christ commands them to do. Testify, fellowship, you know, pray, uh, seek one another's counsel so that we can grow and sharpen iron, sharpen iron. Uh, all these type of things that Christ tells us to do, feed the homeless, uh, widows, you know, serve one another, be a blessing, testify, pray for one another, pray every day. All the things that Christ tells us to do as his followers, we want to provide an environment where all that can be done online. There are people who live in very remote areas. There are people who live in countries where being a believer is illegal um, or it's just extremely frowned upon. And so this is actually a place where many people come to to actually fulfill Christ's commandments. And that is an amazing thing to think about, that you can technically allow Christ to come through you and pour out of you and be a blessing onto thousands of people around the world without leaving your home. And so if, if, if you need to be. Now, we don't discourage physical contact. We don't discourage physical uh, fellowship. We encourage it more than anything. But there's some people who just don't have it or they can't get that enough and so this provides both a substitute for people in need and also fills a void for people who are completely without and my brothers and sisters i am humbled by that i'm humbled to think that the lord has allowed me to have a ministry that people you the viewer who's watching this right now you can use what the lord has given me to have further relationship with christ so it's not about me standing on a stage. It's not about me using this social media as a platform to become famous or for you to hear my opinions and my ideas and to, uh, you know, become somebody special. This is not a place or a thing where I'm seeking to be famous and sell you books and DVDs and tickets to my events, you know, and God bless all those people. I'm just saying that's not my ministry. My ministry is to provide a safe haven and a place where believers can do the things they normally cannot do. And I am super blessed by it. I, I am super blessed. So that is what we are about here. Um, we're also not a denomination, as I said before. We're not associated with any type of theological titles. So let me give you an example, all right? We might have a belief that matches with a Calvinist or a Universalist or Armenians, right? Armenianism. These are like three major categories, right? We might have some ideas that match with Catholics and Protestants. But you see all these titles. We don't, we, myself, Nathan Wheeler and my buddy Alex and many other people who are frequent visitors here, not everybody, but, but myself, just so you know, I don't adhere to any label of the sort because I find them all to have flaws scripturally. Some way, shape or form, there's something missing, there's something left out, there's a, there's, a, there's a scenario not accounted for that the Bible does cover, there's things like that. So I just say that I follow the Bible. And I know that other people, they don't even like that, but that's okay, that's, that's me. If, if you also wanna know what are my articles of faith, my articles of faith are the entire Bible, every single word. We don't have articles of faith outside of that. I wouldn't want to add anything to the Bible and I wouldn't want to subtract anything from the Bible in regards to what I believe and how I believe. Um, I believe the Bible is God inspired. I believe that it is important to go to the original languages, the Hebrew, the Greek, uh, Ar you know, Aramaic. Um, those are basically the three languages of Latin that you can find in the Bible. Um, and I do believe that using a Strong's Concordance, in my opinion, is the best way to find the accuracy of what the original scriptures were actually saying. But that being said, the general idea to get to uh, us spiritually and to get us to a spiritual relationship with Christ can be found in most general famous Bibles. 
Uh, so while I personally do not read them and study them for my own walk with God, I do know that they cover, like the King James Bible, let's say the NASB, uh, you know, ESV. These are versions of the Bible that I know uh, personally, I've read them, that I know word their words well enough for us to have relationship with God. So again, we're not even like King James Nazis. We're not nothing like that, right? That's not That's not what we're about here. So while we have very strong convictions, we also have the ability to know that there's something that can show up today or tomorrow that can change those convictions or at least uh, alter them a bit, right? We can grow in the Lord. That's really important for anybody who participates here to understand, right? We are not uh, saying that this is dried cement. I myself am not dried cement. I hope to be being changed, added to and chipped away by the Lord, for the Lord, uh, in his knowledge, his wisdom, his grace, his mercies, his blessings, until the day I pass or he returns. You know, that's that's my personal persuasion on that. So that's that's what this ministry has. No denomination or identity relationships here at all. Yeshua is our identity. The Bible is our, our, our uh, articles of faith. And again, you don't have to agree with that either. Uh, but that's that's the other thing. This is a place of fellowship. You don't you can be part of a denomination. You can be part of a physical church. You can adhere to those titles if you want to. Calvinist, Armenianism, Universalist. You can if you want to, and still come here, and and still have fellowship with other people who are different than you, and have um, at least the core belief that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, is our Lord and Savior, that He died and rose again, and and will return. And that the Bible is the truth. You know, if, if this is the core uh, of our faith, that we can come together at this core and we can fellowship and celebrate him. And that's what Yeshua Network's goal is, for people to find that. If they haven't found it already, to grow in that. If they have found it or want to, or, 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 or have it already, but want to just push further. And, um, and, and then find family earthly family that is part of our heavenly kingdom because we don't need to wait to die to experience god we don't need to wait to die to experience our heavenly family we can have it right here does that make sense so super super blessed um we do work with other ministries so there are people with buildings we are we do work with other churches we do work with other ministries one of the main ministries that you hear us talk about when we talk about them it's seasonal so uh, is Kairos Prison Ministry. We also work with uh, child services, family services, disaster relief, things like that, that basically, you know, uh, we don't need to be in the same full theological agreement to come together on a cause like feeding children or providing needs for children and widows and providing families with disaster relief, right? These are not things that we need to have theological matches on in order to serve and be a blessing and visit prison inmates and things like that, right? These are the things that Christ said, you know, feed me, f uh, visit me, protect me, take care of the widows and the children, things like that. So we do these things here at Yeshua Network. We do team up with other programs and services that are already like experts They do that stuff. And so that way we just kind of can tag along, come up alongside them again and have a partnership, a fellowship and a relationship with them to achieve the things that Christ has told us to do. So we do have that and we look for more partners and we look to do more things. Uh, we're just kind of at a crossroad right now in the ministry. It's a wonderful, amazing crossroad. crossroad. I can talk. Um, and it's and it's very long drawn out crossroad. Uh, that's one of the things I'll get to at the end of this video, but it is a crossroad and we are moving and we are growing and we are making headway. And this ministry is, uh, you know, a butterfly breaking out of its cocoon. I do believe that. And so I think if you're just joining Yeshua Network, you know, yes, we've been around for 10 years making thousands of video content, uh, but but you haven't missed everything. There's so much more to come. And so I wanted to make this video just to welcome all the new people and anybody who's been around, but maybe you don't comment. Maybe you don't say hello. Uh, that's okay. I understand what that's like. There's certain pages that I follow or I watch once in a while and I never really comment. Um, I do try to hit the like button for them as it does help give them further um, sharing by the 
you know, social media platforms. So I do realize that that's an important thing. So if you're interested in this stuff, if you're interested in what you've heard so far, you know, I never say this, but I realize it's important. Hit the like button, share this, uh, because that is what we're about. And if you've been looking for something like that, well, you found it here at Yeshua Network. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that part. Um, we don't do sermons. So if you are looking for a ministry page, like a church building page, and you're looking for the pastor on stage, and he busts out the Bible, and he goes through some passages, and he tells you how to apply it to your daily life, unfortunately, we don't do that here. Um, and I say unfortunate because I do know that that's a blessing for many people. However, we do something that I think is even more valuable. And I'm not saying it's a it's a competition. I'm just saying that I've learned from myself and for other believers, it seems to be more valuable, which is that we do conversations instead. So we will pick a topic or we will pick scripture. And then we as a body of Christ will talk about it right here, whether it's through a live video, through a Q&A or a topical video, or whether it's through a series that we do about covering a topic. And then you guys can leave comments and get feedback. And then we read these comments live on the video so that it's not just one person's point of view or it's not just one person's um, uh, receiving of the Holy Spirit working through them. Instead, it's a body of Christ coming together in a conversation. So that is what you will find here. You will find dialogue of scripture. You will find scripture being covered in great length and details, but it just won't be in a sermon format. So if that is something that you've noticed, if you've been a follower, subscriber here of Yeshua Network, and you're like, I never see sermons, I only see this guy get on and just talk about things uh, and do these kind of Q and A's and stuff. I just have found that involving fellow brothers and sisters makes the experience of the scripture significantly more rich. And so that is the way that I personally believe it is on my heart to share the gospel and increase the 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 scripture input into all of our minds and hearts amen so um i covered about what we're about we're about to first and foremost everybody coming in to christ and having relationship with him that is our number one hope and drive and goal here at yeshua network is the individual having relationship with their lord and savior and studying the Bible to find themselves approved so that they also don't get duped or tricked or misled. Okay, you often hear me say, don't believe a word I say, trust only the Bible. And that's not a phrase or a saying, I just say to be funny or cute. I actually believe it. And our entire Bible read through series, which happens on Wednesday nights, uh, is proof of it because I, 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 I read more of your comments than I speak of my own comments. Sometimes I'll get on a rant uh, but you know, um, but other than that, most of the time I'm reading more of other people's comments than my, than my own two cents or input. And that's important to me. It's important to me that that it be that way. If I feel that there's something having on my heart that the Holy Spirit puts on my heart, I will share it though. It might be controversial at times. I still will share it because I think that controversy, as long as it's received by a loving and, and celebratory family in Christ and celebratory of, of the scriptures themselves, that that controversy can turn into massive blessings breakthroughs revelations and and just massive insight into parts of relationship with god that maybe we hadn't seen before so it's also healthy to present uh we believe i believe uh presenting uh controversial topics and then as a body of christ going into them and talking about them without debate so I'm going to get into that here in a second as well. So that's the things that we're about. Um, so really quick before I go any further too. So let, let's talk about debate since I just mentioned it. I'm a little, a little out of my note order here, but that's okay. Um, one of the things is, is that I know that the things that go viral on the internet are these like Christian debates or political debates. And I understand why, because you'll get some people who make some really great zingers, some wonderful phrases and sentences or paragraphs that are very you can capture it you can save it you can send it to family members and friends and go look this person says it perfectly you can send it away and then you know they'll get the point that maybe you couldn't say yourself so i understand that there's a massive blessing within the debate video content world but i don't believe personally that debate is healthy for the body of christ as we see debate today 
Okay, so modern day debate is like a competition. You can actually take classes as an adult or in school. You can take classes to learn how to debate so that even if you are, your information is wrong, you can win the debate. And debates are, are scored. Uh, there's ways for people to actually, you know, win a debate on a platform, on a stage with an audience and things like that. So, so that's different than a biblical debate. Right. I believe that a biblical debate was so that the truth wins, not the individual wins. And today what we have is an individual wins an argument. They're the winner of the debate. I think that the only real way that a debate is successful is when truth wins. And so therefore, I want to remove the word debate from Yeshua Network. And instead, I would rather have us have fellowship and conversations. Because if two people or a hundred people come together with the objective for truth to win and not one of us to have victory and say, see, I was right, then we will have a major growth uh, happen where it doesn't normally happen because you won't. The reason why you'll have a growth that, that is unique in that scenario is you don't have people trying to attack the individual. You have people wanting to expose and highlight and nourish truth. And so that to me is the healthy way to go about. That's the biblical way to go about it. And it means that I can be wrong and I win. It means that you might be wrong and we win, right? You win. So everybody, the wonderful thing about Christ, if you, if you have read the entire Bible, you've studied the New Testament at least, you know that with Christ, he has designed it so that everybody with him wins. There doesn't have to be a loser except for the devil. <laughs> if, if, if there has to be a loser in order for there to be a win, the devil technically would be the loser because, you know, he doesn't trick us into, uh, into, into falling away, right? So he's the loser in that regard. But with Christ, every single person can and should win. And so that is our goal is to have everybody win in Christ and in truth because the truth will make you free.